Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Antares Moon. I am the Royal Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucker responsibilities. And flight morning, everybody. And look, check this out. This video right here is going to be about what the Greeks was referring to when they was trying to explain Lucifer. Because you know everything is symbolism and allegory. So we're talking about virtues and principles. So before we even get into it, right, what they was referring to was actually consciousness. So anybody who's gun ho on utilizing the term consciousness, like scientists trying to discover what consciousness is and how it's derived, we know consciousness is the ability to be aware. So going back into the times of motherfuckers interpreting the Bible, right, or trying to write the Bible, they're talking about things that they have became aware of as far, as far as their visions and things of that nature. And you could be aware of a certain vision or an idea that can lead to catastrophic experiences for you. So for the most part, here's the thing. When we start to talk about becoming aware, which is what consciousness is, biblically speaking, when God became aware, that's when it created the first son or whatever like that, right? Or Lucifer or Lucy, a.k.a. a different term for light. And we know light is information. And once it becomes condensed, it can materialize in all the structures we see in the world right now. So it's in formation, a form that you can go in that do formations, a.k.a. transitions. And certain transitions is blissful. Certain transitions is demonstrious. You see what I'm saying? So check this out. Once you understand this mind frame, right, this was what they was trying to point to when they was referring to consciousness, Lucifer. Because when a spirit or this God in the Bible, when they made this allegory story, became aware of itself, right, that's the Lucifer, the first light, the most beautiful thing in the world. Now, here's where things get a little demonic with consciousness. Because once you are consciously aware of something, AKA you are aware of something that you have, you start to use what you are aware of for what you have. AKA you got the Lucifer allegory. L Lucifer start to use what Lucifer was aware of. Lucifer was a became aware that it was beautiful because it was getting praised and, and all this type of shit. So it became aware of that. So it started to use what it was consciously aware of to maintain something. So anytime you use consciousness for something, you are the child of Lucifer. Let me repeat. Anytime you use consciousness for something, you are the child of Lucifer. So when you look at the world today, look how the Masons got everybody. They got everybody using what they're consciously aware of for their religion. Using what they're consciously aware of for their race. Using what they're consciously aware of for their desires, using, aka being Lucifers, being users, using what they are aware of, and trying to make it another attribute, oh, use you being consciously aware of a Bible telling you that there's some elect in it, so you're going to use it to make it seem like you are the representation of the elect and you could be a theologian or apologetics. You want to use what you consciously aware of and what the Masons taught you about what your race have did and what's kings and queens and things of that nature, right? You're going to use that in order to convince people you was the first race of people or you had some power and authority or you had some circumstances, or situation and things of that. You're going to use what you consciously aware of, what you taught, what you was taught in a science book or some shit like that. Right. In order to convince people you're smarter than what you really are when you're at the diner, when you're at the dining table with your family and things of that nature. And you're just throwing around a bunch of dumbass big words like a kinemata, katenatato. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with your religious dumbass shit. So it's just Latin for communication between spirit and the God, a.k.a. your spirit communication with your Lord desires. Other than that, you're going to go into La La Land when you try to explain anything else above that. Because you don't know the mind frame these people was in when they was writing these things from their own visions. So I'm saying? They didn't have nobody. So you see what I'm saying? So we got to understand what's actually going on right now. So anybody who was, who's gun honed on, oh, I want to be consciously aware. I want to be this conscious. I want to be that conscious. You want to be the child of Lucifer. That's what you want to be. And to your monkey ass, stop using consciousness for things and utilize it for your own benefit of awareness in some way, shape, or form. Then that's when your ass will start acting more godly. But until then, consciousness is just another term for what the Greeks was referring to as Lucifer, a.k.a. a ball of information that or light. 
that a motherfucker could be become aware of and start using it for other selfish type shit. Flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. God damn it. Eee.